All right, I'm back. I've just respect into a blood tanking build, and I'm going to do some quests in that. Went for longer diseases uh, and a runic power emphasis. So I've got uh, all of the uh, buffs here for runic power, except two or three cent, uh, cent of blood. Hemo, uh, abominations, might, tanking cooldowns like vampiric blood, bone shield, uh, necropolis, and so on. Skipped this talent. I don't like it. I'm going to wait to see how that pans out when they revamp all the talents. Uh, so it's otherwise a fairly typical tanking build. Um, I've not gone for this AoE talent, and I've not gone for this, of course, very situational, something you'd use for raid tanking, possibly, depending on the content. Uh, so I'm going to go with that. Got uh, Death Strike. Uh, Dark Death, I'm about to change this one to Icy Touch. I did some testing on Obliterate and I found it was doing a little bit less, like 2800 damage on a target uh, d test dummy target that has both diseases up and Death Strike was doing about 3000 damage. Um, that's without me specking into Annihilation. So it looks like you might in the future be able to build into an Obliterate spec for tanking uh, but we'll, again, it's not worth really speculating until we get to the uh, to the final showdown with the new talents. Right. Hopefully, I've got the um, the uh, sound working fine now. Let's give that a quick test. Yeah, I can barely hear that. That's the way you want it. So flying out now from Nordressel, this is Gravity from Pwnware. I'm in the beta, I was in the alpha. You'll see a series of videos from me from uh, the last set of questing I did. While I was out in this area, you'll see uh, Shrine of Goldrin. Uh, next up is the quest for Acena. I'm going to be doing them in a blood tank spec. Again, we don't really know how that's all going to pan out because there's um, going to be a major revamp of the talent system that Blizzard announced where you'll have a 31 point talent tree. You get talent every second level, you get new skills every other level. I think it's brilliant. I really, really like the plan. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Currently though, this is beta 12319 and we just have the standard talent trees. The, the coming system though I like because it makes each new skill up a bit more important, a bit more you know, awesome. You know, it's like, oh wow, I got something new. Yeah, you feel like you're really getting powerful. I like the specialization. I just think it's going to be great. Okay, that guy is a quest who sends us off and um, I must have already collected it, yeah. Great. I saw Consider earlier, the, uh, the DPS blogger, and uh, from the latest jerks fame. Wave to him. I had my ghoul out, which currently is bugged. I was in a tank spec, and I still had a ghoul. This is the new zone. You saw the new quest hub just off to my right with, oh, let me show you. The best looking quest giver ever. She's gorgeous. Where is she? There you are. Let's have a look at her. Uh, it's worth 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 just a pause here to check her out. Beautiful design. Look at that. She's a very good looking thing. Now, she gave me some quests to go up here, and I also could have made my hearth. If I remember right, now I've got to go kill the firestorms. I've got to kill inferno lords here. Um, I've got to persuade him. Oh yeah, I've got to get that guy we just talked to, I should have tortured him. I might go back and do that and um, save some frightened animals. And then I've got the next quest hub target set up. Let's go back over here for a sec. Alright, here he is. So what we've got to do is torture this guy by, no, talking to him. Oh well, I was wrong. I was thinking of another quest. So, now look at this. See this came up here? This is a new 
technology they've got for quests. So you'll see, in fact, one of the earlier quests, about level 11, it comes up when you're out driving a, a device. Instead of having to fly back and forth, even if there's no quest giver right there, you get that popping up. It's really nice. So you can be accepting and moving on to the next stage of a chain without any problems. This guy wants us to kill his weeds. I actually died the first time I did this in, um, in Alpha. And look, there, there again is a spawn issue here. I, I commented on this. Look, they're all dead. Now, if this is on release, and I've got to wait like this for them to respawn, Blizzard are going to have a serious problem. I mean, they really need to tune it. At the same time, um, if you get too much XP, that's not going to be so good. Uh, hold on. Oh, I'm an idiot. They're off. They're off to the all sides. So um, let's check. I got presents because I completely sucked at that last time. Get those guys as well, and pull these dudes together. They actually hit surprisingly hard, but I'm in a tank spec, so I'm hoping I won't have any issues with that. I'm in DPS gear, tank spec. Yeah, that's not looking like too much of a problem, is it? Spread those diseases again. Diseases are hitting for about 174 per tick each. Oh, I might put up bone shield. And so, um, what you're going to get is, if you can keep the diseases up for long enough, they'll die. I mean, that shouldn't really be a problem. Now, see, look at that. My health's down at 13k. I mean, these guys really do hit pretty hard. You've actually got to be conscious of that. See, I'm, I'm near the death now. 10k health. You know, I'm going to sacrifice the ghoul to get a bit of health back here, but the point is, you, you've got to be a little bit careful with these dudes. Pop some diseases back. Spread them around. Ah. They're dead. Yeah. What? 12k, what was that? Yeah, I'll find it eventually. Might have been the heart strike I just did. Don't know. Anyhow. Killed all those dudes.